Welcome to Cloudy Knit Crochet. This is day two of my beach trip. These are my favorite birds, the pelicans, and I call them the bomb squad when they get in that V formation. This video will be really loud due to the wind. Don't worry, I didn't leave my dog out in the wind for very long. <laughs> oh, Coco, you're such a good girl. Look at you, sitting in the wind. Is that your wind face? Look at those ears, they're just flying. My husband said she <laughs> looks like Yoda from Star Wars with her ears like that. So here's where we're camping. We're camping parallel to Highway 1, which is the Pacific Coast Highway. There's a lot of action going on here at this campground. Next to Highway 1 is a train track, and then beyond that is the 101 Freeway. So with the sound of the ocean, we have cars driving by. In the next segment, you're going to see my husband doing me a favor by hiking up to the train track to put a quarter on the rail. All right, there goes my husband. He's going to put a quarter on the train track for me. And I used to do this when I was a kid. So he's going to stick it to the train track with a piece of gum and then when the train comes by it'll smash it so I uh, asked him to do this for me because I didn't want to go up that that hill right there <laughs> and it's really not good that he's going up there and flip flops but we are camping at the beach okay so there he goes it's Put it down. It's down. Okay. Now we just have to wait for a train to come by. See those rocks on that big boulder? I'm going to build a rock tower. And it's going to be very interesting to do this in the high winds. So at the end of the video, you'll see my rock tower. And I'm really hoping it doesn't blow down. So when I want to get out of the high winds, I go into my trailer to work on my craft projects. And here is Norbert the Norwal. He's really going to be cute when I'm done with him. So again, this is from the Crochet Society subscription box. It was one of the boxes I received last year. And in the box, I got a five millimeter crochet hook to do this project. This little tool is called a row counter and I ordered it on Amazon and it is a clover product. So that's how I keep track of my rows. So this project is being worked up holding two strands of yarn. And I really like the pattern of these two colors interacting with each other while I do the single crochet. I want to apologize that you have to see my band-aids on my fingers, but when they get really dry from crocheting, I need to kind of protect my fingertips. And I notice if I put band-aids on, it helps, especially if I'm gonna be crocheting for a period of time. So earlier in the video, you saw me asking my husband to hike up to the train track and I'm building rock towers. I think I'm reliving my teenage years um, on this trip. Years ago, I used to camp all the time with my mom and dad. And I'll never forget 
um, talking to my dad after he retired, he just seemed to be more relaxed and more playful because he, he didn't have the stress of having to go to work every day. And so I retired about six years ago and I've noticed that I'm trying to like relive my uh, childhood again. So um, I, I have an awesome husband and he likes to play along with me and I'm so grateful that he hiked up, the, up that hill for me, even in his flip flops. But with these high winds, the waves are just blown out. And my poor husband, he's not fishing. Usually when we come to the beach, he's out there fishing all day long. So I really feel bad for him. In the next segment, you're going to see my husband hiking back up to the train track. Hey, the train came by. My husband's climbing the mountain again to find the quarter. Let's see if he finds it right away. We had a, a landmark to, to where it would be. So he's looking. Okay, he's looking. This is very dangerous. Since my husband can't go out and fish in the high winds, he's very relaxed right now, just sitting there and reading. So here is my diamond painting that I'm working on during my beach trip. And that container in the upper left corner, I bought those at Michael's and they're working out really well. This is my first time doing diamond painting. So if any of you have any tips on how to diamond paint, please let me know in the comments. Okay, let's go check out my rock tower. There it is. So far, it hasn't blown down yet. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it throughout the day. So at the very end of this video, I'll show you another clip of it to see if it's still standing. Usually when we come here, there's surfers out there, but there's no surfers out there today, not with all those white caps out there. And here's the sunset after a beautiful windy day at the beach. Bye for now, until we meet again.